Hello guys, today I'm going to show you my plan on how to make a 10 station line table press. I made it using SketchUp and the uh, good news is I will show it to you guys for free. So check the description below. The materials we need are 2.5 by 2.5 inches angle bar and also platen with an attachment at the back so we can connect our platen the line table and also 2 by 1 square bar and a 3 by 1 square bar you can connect the 1 by 1 square bar and the 2 by 1 square bar to make this 3 by 1 square bar our first step in building our line table press we will start first from the legs or the frame as you can see here we have a uh, six pieces of this 3.5 length of angle bar and also uh, 25 inches for the brace at the side so we need two of this thing and also 109 inches at the other side we also need two pieces to connect it all like this so we can just use welding to connect each part so after building the frame or the legs we can attach next the top brace so here it is so the top brace is we will use the two by one square bar so we will cut uh, 109 inches long two pieces we will connect it in both sides so our frame or legs will be stronger to stand like this and also we will put four pieces of this seven inches two by one square bar as you can see here we have four and there are two holes so we can use it later to attach our registration panel so we have four pieces here so so when we attach the first one, we will attach at the side after attaching the first with a 35 inches margin, we will attach the next one. So another 35 inches margin and another 35 until we attach the four pieces to so that we can use it to attach our registration panel so after attaching other top brace we will add our platen holder this one so we will use the three by one square bar so we will cut a 42 inches length of three by one square bar so as you can see here we got five pieces so since we are building 10 station line table press as you can see here so we will attach the first flatten holder with a margin of 9.5 inches so we, uh, we will attach the first one with a margin of 9.5 inches after attaching the first platen holder with a margin of 17 inches we will add the next one so another 17 another 17 another 17 and 9.5 for the last one so make sure your platen holder is proportional so we, do, we will not have a problem when we attach the platens later so after attaching the platen holder we will attach the registration panel so in the registration panel we will use again the angle bar so 
we will cut a 109 inches length of angle bar 2.5 by 2.5 inches so, as you can see here we have two pieces and I mentioned earlier that we have uh, two holes in the 2 by 1 square bar in the top brace so here is the purpose of it so, we will make holes of the registration panel angle bar so we can attach it using screw so it is easy to disassemble or assemble but you can also use your welding machine to quickly attach it so we have four holes here we will just screw so to make it attach well so, so our line table is almost done and we will attach the platen and that's the last step so, so we have a platen here as i mentioned earlier we attach uh, we put some attachment at the back of the platen as you can see here this one so we can attach it easily remove attach so this is very easy to attach if we have this kind of attachment so to give you a full view this will be gonna look like our line table so we have our legs here top brace registration and platens so this is my plan on how to make a 10 station line table press so, so to give you a quick review so we will build the legs first our top brace and platen holder and registration panel and after that our platen this is for today guys so if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more videos about line table printing tutorial thank you guys